It's uh, Mark from Mark and Mark's 4x4. Uh, today I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you guys the do's and don'ts of doing a rear recovery from your vehicle. So first of all, number one rule, do not ever hook the strap onto a tow ball. The tow ball is made for towing, not for snatching. So snatching is when another vehicle pulls your vehicle out and the tow rope itself, it's called a, a snatch strap, and it actually has flex in it. So as, it as you pull, it expands slightly, enabling you to safely be pulled out from mud or hole or wherever you are. Okay, so first one that you can do is pretty simple. It's just uh, get a pair of pliers or multi-grips, remove the pin, the linch pin, which holds in your tow pin, which is this one. Remove the bar, the tow, the tow ball, and you'll be left with the bar and the socket. Now, get your strap, and inside the socket, put it in between the strap. So run the strap through, push in the pin, attach the linch pin, voila. Now, this is not rated. It's not rated to do this, but in an in a emergency situation, this will get you out of trouble. Another thing you can do, put the toe ball back in, back your pin, attach the linch pin. I don't have a large enough shifter so I'm using multi-grips. It's not ideal but it still works. Take off the ball because you cannot recover from the so ball. So here I have a D shackle which is this one. It's got straight sides and this one here is a bow shackle. It's got curved sides. So the bow shackle for the thickness of the steel is actually stronger. So this one here is working load limit of 4.7 ton. And the D shackle here, which is very similar thickness steel. A bit hard to tell. It's uh, two, point, uh, two ton safe working limit. So put your strap on first, put your shackle over, do it up, do it up all the way, and then back it off half a turn. And every single time you recover, you should always do that because once the tension gets put onto that from force of a vehicle or a winch or what have you, you will not be able to get this undone without the use of a shifter or putting something through the pin and turning it because it will actually bind on itself. So it's not good for the life of your shackles and it's just not a recommended practice. So do it up all the way and a quarter turn or a half turn back. This will not come out from doing that from one recovery situation. So don't stress out about that happening. Okay, so finally we have the only way that I ever recover my vehicle and that is with a recovery hitch setup. So this is purpose built to uh, serve as a recovery instrument. So you can see there, it's rated five ton. The bow shackle itself is rated to four and three quarter ton. And I'll show you how simple it is to install this. So you pull out linch pin, tow bar pin, pull out your tow, bar, tow ball, it's just a solid piece of steel. Slide it in. Line it up with your pin. Lynch pin. Undo it there. Oh, the dog's in the way. Yeah. Sit. So you undo the bow shackle. Get your strap. 
put the strap on, do it back up. All the way up, back half a turn. Those other ways that, that I showed it. you are gonna get you out of the pickle if you don't have the, this equipment. This thing here is about 35 bucks. You can get it from any four wheel driving shop. It's not expensive. It's the first thing that, you know, I'd be buying if uh, just starting if you've got any questions out. about the video or any other four wheel driving questions, just uh, drop me a line on the comments section and I'll be more than happy to write back. Uh, if I get enough feedback, I'll make a video on it. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's all get out there. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching and see you later.